but I don't know how to do anything remotely practical. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's a little bit late but Merry Christmas to all of you. I really hope you've had a lovely time. I know this year has been difficult and different but I really hope that whatever your scenario this year you've been able to make the most of it and have as lovely a time as possible. I personally have had an absolutely wonderful Christmas. It's been quiet, it's been lovely to be at home with my family and do things like play games and watch films. Things that I never normally have time to do because I'm always so busy. But of course I have had to make time to film my annual what I got for Christmas video is one of my favorite YouTube traditions I think this is my sixth what I got for Christmas video which is absolutely crazy I think it was my first ever YouTube video I ever did I came out with a bang and started with the best video <laughs> and I'm just gonna jump straight into it so if you are new here today please do subscribe to my channel I have big plans for 2021 and that's all I'm gonna say, but you're gonna want to be around. So my main present from my family was this. Some of you may recognize it from my gift guide. It was one of the rare occasions where I'd actually bought the uh, present for my gift guide and then realized that I would actually really like it myself. So that made my parents' job a lot easier this year. So it's the limited edition um, Urban Outfitters Crossley record player. And it's just the most gorgeous thing. Ever. They obviously come in lots of different colors um, and this is limited edition. It's this beautiful baby pink velvet with this lovely like matte gold hardware. So this is what it looks like inside. I had a few comments on my gift guide saying that Crossley is not the best brand for fantastic high quality audio, but to be honest, I'm not really in it for the quality of the sound. I'm in it because I just really love the way it looks and I do think it's really cool that you can play music on it as well. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm really, really happy with it. And then to play on my record player, I have the only two records that you would ever really need in life. The first one is from Coco and it is ABBA Gold. And it has everything on it that you could honestly ever want. Literally all of my favorite songs. And then the second one was from JJ and it is a classical Disney record performed by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. This also has a very good selection of songs and the best thing about it is it's orchestral, it's instrumental, meaning I can sing and it's gonna be like the orchestra is backing me up. So speaking of my boyfriend, I'll show you the other presents that he got me. First of all, he got me my favorite white company pink cashmere socks. These are honestly the loveliest socks, but they are a luxury. They're expensive for socks. So it's not something that I'd really just go out and buy. So he got me those for Christmas, which I love because my ones are a little bit like manky now. He also got me this, which is incredibly exciting. I was literally squealing. It is a personalized tin of Quality Street. So he had my name printed on it. So it says Freddy Street and basically you can customize it. So all of your favorite chocolates are inside. So inside mine are my three favorites. My favorites are the pink fudge, the strawberry cream and the orange cream. They're literally the only three Quality Streets that I like. And now I have a full tin of them and I'm not sharing. <laughs> One of the only things that I asked for this year was a new pair of Ugg slippers because I got my first pair last Christmas time and I never used to wear slippers at all, like ever. I always just used to wear socks, but the Ugg slippers are the nicest things that you will ever feel on your feet. Mine have just gotten really worn. They're not as like soft and fluffy as they are when they're new. So I really wanted a new pair for Christmas. So I opened up this box with a very charming message on the front and when I opened these I absolutely died because they are just the most beautiful slippers I've ever seen in my life okay they must change the pink slightly every year because my ones are not as nice as these I'm just going to show you so these are my ones from last year which they're still really cute but they're more like a purpley pink so these are so much nicer oh my god they're just so cute and they're honestly the softest coziest most lovely slippers in the world like I'm just obsessed. I'm so excited. Also guys, can we just quickly appreciate my cute Christmas jumper? I'm so happy with it. I've been wearing it every day since Christmas Eve. It's just, oh, 
it's so cute. So JJ did get me one more gift, which was a big surprise. I'd said like kind of vaguely that I really wanted a pair of like really pretty, like girly feminine trainers for the gym because I am now, I'd say, a person that does regularly exercise. I can't believe I'm actually saying that because I mean, I hate exercising. So he got me some Nike trainers and I was like, oh my God, I just didn't really know what to expect. And when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, they are so pretty and I'm just delighted. So here are the trainers. Aren't they absolutely adorable? They're so pretty. They are literally exactly what I was looking for. I wanted some just like this, like in my mind, this is what they looked like. And I'm just so pleased with them. They're adorable. And they have a really nice like chunky sole as well, which I just think kind of looks cool because I need to kind of like up my cool rating, you know? But yeah, I just think they're so pretty and they are so me. They're like the girliest Freddy gym trainers that I think you could ever get. So I'm just so happy with these and it was such a nice surprise. Okay, so now I will show you more presents that I got from my family. So this one is a little bit random, but I'm really, really happy with it. I absolutely love it. My dad basically put together for me a pink toolbox. So it's a little bit of a running joke that I don't know how to do anything remotely practical. And whenever I have any kind of problem, the first thing that comes to mind is, Daddy! <laughs> it's a little bit pathetic, so we basically need to get me on the road to being a little more self-sufficient, which I really want, and a little bit more independent, I guess, and just knowing how to do stuff, like change the fuse in a plug and use screwdrivers. So my dad got me this really nice pink toolbox, which I love. I just think it looks so pro, but really girly as well. And it's full of all things that I might need in like day-to-day -day life. So we've got some super glue, we've got fuses, some scissors, um, screwdrivers, a tape measure. And the stuff isn't new, by the way. A lot of it is just like my dad's stuff because he's the kind of person that has like 300 screwdrivers. So I've got a hammer, I've got pliers, um, I've got this, which I ha actually have no idea what that is. Um, this cool thing and this, I actually have no idea what any of this stuff is. But the point is I will find out and I will learn how to use them so I can be the kind of person that just gets the job done and doesn't have to ask somebody else to do it. That's the kind of person I want to be. Oh my God, it's heavy. I got some absolutely lovely gifts from Coco. Obviously she got me the ABBA Gold record. She also got me this really adorable little Gus and the other little mouse from Cinderella Trinket Dish from the Disney store, which is so, so adorable. She also got me a Yankee candle because you guys know how much I love Yankee candles. And this one is in the scent Jasmine and Cashmere. And honestly, it's like my perfect, perfect smell. It's just beautiful. It's like fresh and floral, but it's also warm and comforting because of the cashmere. And it's just, it's just absolutely lovely. She also got me a hairbrush. So I said to her, I really need a new wet brush because I actually snapped mine because I use it so much. Currently it's super glued, but I actually snapped this in half. And I really need a new one because it's my favorite brush, but a lot of them are really ugly. They come in like not very nice colors. So I said to her, please try and find me like a really pretty, nice wet brush. And she looked for ages and she said she was really stressed and she eventually found one that she knew I would love. And I do. So it's this one here and I was so happy when I opened this because it is absolutely perfect. It's Aurora, which you guys know is like my Disney princess. It's like who I see myself as if I was a Disney princess. And I love her so much. And I just think this is the most beautiful hairbrush. It's kind of like a wooden effect. And Aurora's kind of like, she looks like she's been hand painted on basically. So it's really, really beautiful. And honestly, wet brushes are just the best, best brushes. So this was honestly one of my favorite presents of Christmas because I just thought it was so thoughtful and it was something that I really needed and wanted. We need a quick quality street break. I also got quite a few books for Christmas, which I'm always very, very happy to receive. This is just a really cute little like motivational quote book that my mum and dad got me. Um, it's a very kind of like glam feminist book with lots of affirmations and inspirational quotes, which I am all about. And there is everyone in here. Venus Williams, Gloria Steinem, Emma Watson, Taylor Swift, Princess Diana, Ava Peron, everyone. It's just absolutely lovely. I also got the latest Shopaholic book by Sophie Kinsella. I'm not sure if it's a B latest 
latest, but it's the latest one that I haven't read, so it's um, Christmas Shopaholic. I also got the newest Megan Hess book to add to my vast collection of Megan Hess books. I do think I actually have them all, and I just love them so much. They are so beautiful, just everything is so my style. It's basically like a little illustrated archive of French fashion, so it goes through all of the designers and maybe their most um, iconic pieces, and it's just beautiful, like everything is just so me. I could honestly just stare at these pictures all day. I find them so inspiring and I just love them and I love having my little Megan Hess collection. I think my next step is to get a Megan Hess print. They're very expensive but you guys know I just love her work so much. I also got this Alice in Wonderland themed puzzle book. I do love a good puzzle, a good riddle, a mind bender, a little um, problem to solve. And this is the kind of thing that me and my family love to sit down and do at Christmas. And then the final book I got is The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. I really wanted to get this um, last year when it came out, but it was only in hardback. And I don't really like reading hardbacks because I can't like take them out in my bag. They're too heavy, blah, blah, blah. So now it's out in paperback and I'm so excited to read it because I just love The Handmaid's Tale. I love the book. I love the series. Um, and I just have been so excited to read this and I just can't wait to get started. I have a few books like on my list before I can get to this, but I just know it's gonna be amazing. So next I have a few more gifts from my parents and this I am very excited about. I know I've said that about everything, but I'm really excited, extra excited about this because it's something that I've wanted to try for a really long time and it's the Lumi body clock. So it's basically like an alarm clock. So if you set it to wake up at say eight o'clock in the morning, um, it kind of like gradually uh, lights up the room kind of like a sunrise so subconsciously you're supposed to gradually wake up rather than alarm going off and like shocking you half to death and you're really not ready to wake up it's just supposed to be a better and more natural way to wake up and then you can also do it the other way around so you can have it as like the sunset in your room as you're going to sleep to try and make you relaxed and feel like it's time to go to sleep rather than just like switching the lights off closing your eyes and expecting to fall straight to sleep which i really can't do it's also supposed to help with the winter blues or sad sad syndrome when it's so gray and the weather is miserable it's supposed to give a really nice warm light that kind of makes you feel a bit happier so basically it's everything that I really really need um, and I'm just really excited to try it and I hope it helps me I'll keep you guys posted I also got this absolutely fabulous flamingo teapot which I am just obsessed with I think it's so cute and sassy like Oh my god it's just amazing i love flamingos they're my probably my second spirit animal after a cat and then i also got some fortnum and mason english peppermint tea because my stomach is very easily upset like basically all the time and peppermint tea really really helps so yeah i'm just gonna be here every time i've eaten too much chocolate with my peppermint tea and my flamingo teapot my parents also got me this beautiful pink and rose gold swarovski pen i think they've got me one every year for maybe the past like three or four christmases i just love having a fancy pen I just think it's very sophisticated like always just carry it in your bag and when you get out to sign something it just looks so fabulous and I really really like them they last a really long time as well and um, so I have three or four different ones now and this is just such a beautiful little rose gold pen with all of the pink crystals it's just absolutely beautiful I also got a couple more candles one from my granny and one from my cousin I love these little candles they're so pretty this one is blush and this one which is so nicely wrapped up I really don't want to unwrap it is rose petals I wanted to show you this gift this was actually from Farfetch the team at Farfetch because you guys know I've been working with Farfetch now for over a year and they sent me a lovely Christmas present this year and it was from a brand that I'd never heard of before a jewelry brand called Hermina Athens or Hermina I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right but it's in this lovely little um pouch and it is the loveliest little necklace like look how pretty that is it's a little um gold like link chain but I can't describe it the gold is almost like sparkly and I just think it's so beautiful like imagine this in summer with like a white linen dress and then you just have this beautiful striking necklace it's just so beautiful and very 
very Grecian, Grecian goddess. So this next gift is from my auntie and uncle and I absolutely squealed when I opened it because I am basically in love with Fabergé eggs. My granny does not have a real one because obviously they're like a fortune, but it's a very, very close to being real. Like it looks just like it. It's a really, really good copy. And I'm just obsessed with it. I think it's so beautiful. So my auntie and uncle also got me a faux Fabergé egg. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. So it sits here on its little stand. And this one has kind of like a bit of an art deco-y style. Um, it's this really lovely pink, kind of like fanned out shells, very Gatsby style with the gold and the little like diamante. And then you of course open it and it opens up and it's got this really lovely like swirly, pinky swirly design inside. And you can just have these as like a little ornament or you can put like your earrings in there, your rings, your necklace, like use it as a tiny little kind of trinket jewelry dish. My cousin got me this absolutely beautiful little iridescent glass bottle that's full of matches and you know me I love my long fancy matches and clearly great minds think alike because my mum got me the exact same bottle but I actually think that in a pair they almost look even better. How pretty are they? I always like my candles with a long match and they just make such gorgeous little room decorations. And then I've saved one of the best gifts till last. So my cousin got me this alongside a chocolate orange because chocolate orange is my favorite. I actually got so much orange chocolate this Christmas, but she knows that it does upset my stomach a little bit. So she got me this little Fabalu toilet perfume. Now, if anyone has not tried these, you absolutely need to. They are a lifesaver when you are in public or at someone's house, like a friend's house, and you do have a little bit of an upset time Tummy and a trip to the toilet is needed and to save yourself any embarrassment you can use this toilet perfume I'm not gonna go into it but you should just look it up the way that they work is really really clever it's not like an air freshener at all and it really is an essential if you do have a sensitive stomach. <laughs> so guys, that's everything I got for Christmas this year. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I might see you one more time before the new year, but if not, I just want to say such a big thank you for all of your support this year. I don't think any of us could ever have predicted what this year was going to be, but I really hope that my videos have somewhat got you through some difficult times and your comments on my videos have certainly got me through some difficult times too. I'm sending you all a great big hug and a kiss from me. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.